One of the weirdest things that ever happened to me in my whole life happened right here. We did, uh, we did Farm Aid here a long, long time ago with Willie Nelson, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, John Mellencamp, Steve Earle. It was amazing. And uh, I'm a massive Willie Nelson fan. I named my first son after Willie Nelson. And I was so thrilled to meet the guy. And we got invited to his bus to say hello. <laughs> which I did, and I was thrilled. And I was asking him really super specific questions about a bunch of songs I love. And he was giving me, like, incredibly lucid answers about shit he recorded 50 years ago. And it was amazing. And then, Willie Nelson passed something across the table to me. And it was says that I Yeah, you may not know this uh, about me, but I, I don't drink. I never have. I've never done any sort of drugs. And in that moment, I thought, do I want to be on my deathbed and say I never smoked weed, or do I want to say well, I smoked a joint with Willie Nelson all the time? So, I made the only sensible choice. And I, I shared whatever that was he had. And then I got off the bus, and I felt fucking crazy. <laughs> and I, I said to our sound man, Robin, uh, is it possible that I'm high like I only shared one joint? And he said, well, that wasn't high school weed you were smoking on there, Eddie. And anyway, so I feel out of my mind. I feel like I'm doing cartwheels around backstage. And I come in this entrance right here, just in time to catch the beginning of the set of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Okay? That would be crazy enough. But then, a gentleman with sunglasses and a headset grabs me by the arm, and he goes, come this way, sir. And he leads me up inside a ring of Secret Service agents to dance with Tipper Gore. <laughs> I'm high for the first time in my life. And I think the, the Secret Service has sequestered me because they know I'm high. I was right there, right there, sir, dancing like, this is fucking crazy! You just wanted to talk to you about all that swearing in your music. That's right. Tipper Gore wanted to keep me PG. The name is Ed Robertson, and I just had to see what it was like. So I took it from Willie. Immediately I felt really fucking silly. Came out and watched CSNY. We're bare naked ladies and we do it till we die. Back when it was the missing pavilion. Why I keep saying that, man? It's kind of bewildering. That's Jimmy, that's Ty, that's Kev. If you want a Snoopy, hit the 7 Eleven. But if you want rock and roll, stay in your seats. We're bare naked ladies and that bears no repeat. 